It's like it's worded in in a pretty basic way, but I see this come up over and over again uh, in regard to night game. So should you kiss goals in the club or is it better to focus on pulling? Good question. And I have a good answer for it. It's up to her. You're either going to kiss her in C1 or bounce to C2 or bounce to C3, which is your living room. C2 could be Mel's diner. C1 is the smoking section. So you have to go through all three phases and their locational changes. You have to change locations. There are three locations all pickups go through. The attraction location, then the comfort building location, and then the seduction location, right? Uh, that's that's the framework for a pleasing pickup. If you don't kiss them in C1, it's because she's not ready to be kissed. And you know and are aware of it. I may even say, expect, uh, say this soundbite, expect nothing but great conversation, young lady. That way, I get a chance to see her on a day two. There is no kiss in C1. There is no sexual tension in C1. In C2, when I see her again, I may kiss her. <laughs> if not in C2, then by C3, which is right before you start uh, going into arousal, into sexual arousal. So you leave it up to her comfort levels. You know, some guys say, oh, I can bet a girl in, in less than an hour. That does not make you a chess champion. It just makes your opponent naive if you're winning in three moves, right? A typical solid game pickup is 25 to 35 moves, just like in pickup. It's 25 to 35 moves to play a solid game of chess. That is a typical game. Three moves is not a typical game. So why don't we prepare to play solid games? And there's ways of doing it. And the number one best way to improve your skill set, it's got to be said, seek a mentor. Seek a mentor in real life, a man who can take you under his wing, bring you out to the nightclub ad adventures, and you can get real world experience with some course correction to boot. You know, nothing like getting instant feedback from a, from a coach to improve your game. Now we do live events around the world, teaching the elegant art of the pulled approach pickup to, to groups of men, small groups of men. You have a following ice and there are men who have heard about mystery, but they haven't seen them in action. And they haven't learned that the phases are to be taken into the field with you. In other words, you should know what phase you're in when you're in it. Some people look at the mystery method, how to get beautiful women into bed. They look at that book and they read it, understanding the theory, but they don't apply the theory. It's not used in a practical manner. You're supposed to know which phase you're in when you're in it so that you can meet the objectives of the phase, complete it, and get to the next phase. So if you can do A1, A2, A3, move to C1, you can do that over and over and over again, it'll change because the material will change and the order of the material will change. And the dynamic nature of every group is going to change. So you're going to always be titillated and interested in your interactions, but you're always going to want to kind of channel them down to your material. As long as I'm speaking, I'm conveying my personality. As long as they're speaking, I am not. Right? They're investing and I want them to invest in me but they don't have to start investing on the open if they're not showing interest. I'm not going to leave the set because she's not interested in three, 30 seconds. I'm going to make her interested in me. I'm going to be interesting. How do you be interesting? You run a series of interesting gambits in, in quick succession. Just like a comedian telling a joke for the first time, it hits and he loves you know, the reaction he gets from his friends. So he decides, I'm going to put this new material into my show. And then he does it in his show. And it's the amateur that tries it two or three times at running the gambit. You know, maybe you've told a, a joke to your friends, it works. So you bring it on stage and it doesn't work. 
the amateur gives up after two or three times. It's the pro that knows that it worked once. It got laughs once. So it's my fault if I don't get laughter from the gambit again and again. So you have to work the gambits, practice the material, make people laugh all night long in order to prime yourself to be ready for when a woman of particular quality comes along. You want to be ready for her. No ums, ahs, pauses, awkward pauses. All that can be removed just by knowing your material. So in our live events, that's what we do. We get to the work. By day, it's seminar. And I catch people up to speed for the evening, where we then take the, the gentleman out to public gatherings, nightclubs, events, social gatherings, where they can then apply what they learned in the day. And the best part of it is the feedback that you get. If you do three sets and come back to me and I've watched you do three sets, I can see a pattern now. I can see what sticking points you're dealing with presently, whether it's delivery, whether it's your volume and velocity, you're not doing enough sets, so you're not getting enough experience, whether it's your intonation, your, the way you, in, you have inflection in your voice, the manner at which you perform your material. It may be the material. You don't have enough material to fill in A1, A2, A3, C1. You may not have an, enough material for that, right? So we can help progress your, your pickups over three nights of gaming. By the third night, you're going to be far excelling past where you originally were on night one. That's where we can help. That's where Blaze and I come in.